All right, in today's computer animation tutorial, we're going to go over how to use the app called Twisted Wave to record sound and then add it to our character animation we've been working over in Adobe Animate. So as you can see, uh, my animation has progressed just a little bit since um, we saw it last. And before, you just saw a blinking face uh, with the eyes blinking. Um, so I added in a body and a trophy uh, that he is going to be surprised about. So um, what I'm going to do is go back to uh, Google Chrome and start to record a sound on Twisted Wave. And so you see a bit of the process. Um, we should already have an account uh, registered and then um, you'll get a confirmation email which you'll have to click on a link there and then it'll bring you back to this window where you will sign in. Um, I have mine, remember me. Um, I figure that's just a little bit easier. Um, all right, and to get started, we have to go to uh, click on this new document button right here, and that'll open up the uh, Twisted Wave uh, window. So what I'm going to jump right into doing is uh, using the record button here. You have some basic controls, zooming in zooming out. Uh, you can also fade in and out your sound, which is what these arrows are here. Um, to start a new recording, I'll just press record. And so for this, I will go... Woohoo! All right, and there is my sound. Um, you would probably have to click the button on that was about to pop up there that says allow your microphone to use um, to use Twisted Wave to use your microphone on your computer, and you would say yes to that, obviously. So here I can click through in this bottom bar. This is kind of the zoomed out view of my audio wave. Um, down here is where I can actually edit this sound. So if I just click and drag to select all this empty space and then hit delete on my keyboard, I can delete all that extra space. So again, I'm gonna go uh, right around the end here of this. And now if I just close to the beginning, click play, I can see that uh, that has a little bit of open space at the beginning. And so that should work. And so now what I'm going to do is go to file and send to Google Drive. And that will send it right over to your Google Drive mp3 audio is good. Send to Google Drive. Oh, I forgot to title it. I would title always title something uh, like this. Uh, I'm going to go back out of Chrome and let's see, I'm going to need to go to my Google Drive really quick. So I'll go into my drive here and see where this sound was sent. So it should be um, pretty early on right here. I can see it untitled mp3. Um, what I'll want to do is uh, double click on that, see that that's the one I wanted, and click on download. All right, so now we are ready to go over to Adobe Animate. And what I'm going to do is start by taking this mouth portion. I have not turned that into a graphic yet. So what I will do is press the F8 key on my keyboard and turn this mouth into a mouth graphic. Um, now what I'll do is actually double click inside of this mouth and I'm going to create a new layer. And this layer, um, the base layer, I'm going to actually um, have be the mouth still because that's what uh, is still there. And then this top layer, layer two that I added, uh, will be our sound layer. So sound is going to have its own layer. Right. So what now we need to do is go to the animate main menu, import, and then go down to import to library. We could import to stage as well, but we'll import to library for now. You'll want to go to your downloads folder and then find the MP3 that you wanted to use for this. So I'll import that to my library. If I click over my library window now, you'll see that I have a sound right here. This is the one that uh, I want. And so I'll go ahead take that click and drag it onto this frame. Okay, um, I think it is there, but what I probably need to do is open up the frames here in this animation. Let's maybe make it 50 frames. Select these two, right click and go insert frame. All right, so it did not actually drop on that um, place. Oh, okay, so what I can do is actually drag it to the stage. There it is. So now I can see that sound wave has come into my animation. So uh, now what I want to do is make these sound uh, sounds match the actual mouth uh, movements. So what I'll need to do is refer back to our eBackpack class page. I believe that I have that open here. 
Oh, I do not. So I will go back to our eBackpack page. Sign in again. All right, if we are looking at our computer animation, character animation lesson, we have a chart here that tells us uh, the mouths we need for speech. So I have a woo-hoo sound. So uh, the woo sound would be this one, followed by the O, sound, o mouth. And then um, what do we have for H? H doesn't look like it's listed, but I'll probably just go with kind of closing the O and then going back to it. So what I'll need to do is go back to animate. Um, that first frame, what I'll have is it'll just be the regular mouth. Uh, second frame, I'll put in a new keyframe and delete that first, that mouth there. Um, so now I want to draw a new shape, take my paintbrush, um, or your oval tool. Oval tool might work better, especially for a shape like this. Uh, if I look back really quick, you can see it kind of pinches in the corners. And so I could do that with this, uh, this shape tool kind of just pushing on the corners and pulling on them. So, kind of working on that there. Let's see, so I need a little bit of the tongue and then a couple lines above and below this. So, uh, let's add this line in as well. Oops, I uh, will want that to be black. Again, I'm going to add that line there, a little line over the top. Um, those seem a little bit heavy, so I'm just going to go to my brush properties here and make these lines just a little bit lighter. If I just bring this down to one, that should make those much lighter. Okay, so that should work. I'll draw the tongue shape at the bottom here and then fill those in with my paint bucket. Oops, that filled too much. Um, I'm going to turn this to don't close gaps. Oops, but it's going to want to. I need to just fill this one spot. So let's maybe uh, try and add just a red paint with a paintbrush and then fill the rest that might work out better. So see how I zoom in really close when you're working on detailed spots like this. It makes things much easier. Um, so always zoom in when you have any small details to do. Okay, so I now have my woo-hoo. So let's play this, see what we got. Oh, so I'm not hearing the sound right now. I think I have to turn the sound up on my computer. That could do it. Um, but okay, so this should be woo. And then here we would have the lips close. Put in another F6 keyframe here. Um, I am going to just delete most of this mouth. Um, actually, I just because I just want it to be basically like the lips closed. So I'm going to delete these two pieces, um, and I'm going to bring this down and just kind of bend the mouth a little bit there. Um, maybe just adjust that point at the bottom too. So again, you might run into um, kind of different. Uh, issues or mouth positions but this is really just the process here and then I'm gonna have him go woohoo here so let's see if I play this again oh you know what so what I need to do is actually go back to our uh, our main timeline and actually open up this animation a little more I'm going to actually put in this next keyframe though at the F6 key here and go back and actually use the same mouth graphic. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go to this frame over here, right? This last one. And I'm going to delete that and go edit, paste in place. And that's going to paste that mouth right back there. So, woohoo. And then at the end there, I would want this mouth probably to come back or this one would work too. So I'm going to copy that come back to this last frame 
another keyframe here, delete what's on it, and then go edit and paste in place right back on there. So now what I should have is that matching my animation. I do need to go back to my scene though, and I need to open up this animation to more frames. So let's just go maybe 40 frames or so, um, and let's select all of our, oops, uh, let's select all of our layers. So shift, holding shift, click on all of the layers you have in your animation and press F5 so that all those frames are now, uh, all those animations have uh, parts can be around for 40 frames. Let's see, and I'm not quite hearing sound. I may need to adjust something else in the volume or maybe what this is is this needs to be a movie clip. Woohoo! There we go. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, uh, something else you're noticing too is that uh, that sound is looping. So, uh, what we have to do is go back into our animation. Um, we've got to actually uh, do a setting on this so that it does not repeat. Okay? Or uh, it does not. Right, we don't want it to not be on event, we want it to just be on uh, on start, is what we just want to make that setting, I believe. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, so it's still not uh, quite synced exactly at the end there, get that overlapping, but um, what I'm going to do is end this tutorial for now, and we will address uh, that last issue once we get to it uh, in class. All right, well, that is it and enough for this uh, tutorial. I know there's a lot to this, and uh, I hope you have lots of luck with it.